Well, welcome. We have another exciting, exciting trip today to look at um, a renovation that was probably one of my favorite because the customer was so experienced in this as an interior designer. It was a little bit intimidating, but so much fun to work with this couple um, and their taste level, which is so high and excellent. But what we had here was, I would say, uh, maybe European influenced uh, interiors because it was not to our taste and certainly something that we had to change. We could keep the dark floors. We had to get rid of the very modern influenced doors. When you look at some of the before pictures in this uh, that are cut in as we talk about this, they were brown and dark and heavy and really bring this into the taste level of the, the new owners. Um, if you look at some of the before pictures, what we had is this this very strange banquette dining room that took over the whole space and a lot of heavy interiors that had to be ripped out. We started, you know, by having to worry about how we were going to match detail. We had to do custom friezes that matched all the crown uh, detail and crown molding and carry that through this little area because we decided that the better use of space was to add a partial wall and then create a custom built-in that really reflected um, the, the couple's use of space and I think makes it far more practical, much more interesting from an interior perspective. Keep the dining room table, which, which w was here originally, we thought made sense with, of course, with their uh, furnishings. And, and did an office built-in area with custom, uh, this is just back painted glass over this to protect, to protect this built-in, but um, it includes, you know, electric in the, in the, in the bottom cabinets for the printer. Um, and I think probably helps to, you know, remove the clutter and get everything out of the way while still creating such a beautiful space with, you know, your file cabinets and, and, and the exterior things that are necessary for the kitchen. Now the kitchen, besides updating this whole apartment's electric, um, was really difficult because he, you'll see here we have these upper structural beams and that's because the apartments above it have an outdoor space. Uh, that became very hard to work around and try to maintain the sense of height in an apartment that's probably got about eight foot ceilings but I think by painting the beams it's the color of the walls, adding this wall uh, which Mark, Mark really felt um, was necessary to make sure that the, we had the sofa side um, you know, f fit the living room layout. So this little wall and then opening up the wall and, and changing the location of the breaker panel is how we were able to tackle the kitchen. And the kitchen, um, the best part about the kitchen is that it looks like it's just always been this way, but what we have is these crazy beams <laughs> that eliminate the space that we really wanted. So. We were trying to keep it contemporary and warm, um, and I know um, after really struggling with it, we, we use, I thought, a great selection in porcelain wood floors that look fabulous. Um, much more warmer contemporary cabinetry with a wider, this has got a, a wider uh, style and rail around it, and the GE, I think this is the monogram series. Um, Great sense of style and color in here to keep it understated and elegant, um, but works very well. I know they cook a lot, and we were able to wrap this pantry around uh, a beam, which was another tremendously complicated problem because this this cabinet only goes back to about here, and the beam is the rest of it. So we decided to move the sink far to the left. I added the glass panel because I was really worried about water on painted cabinetry and I think it's serving them well. I think it's working. Kept the house phone where it had to be. We can never move the house phone. Uh, but we had to match the color of the, of the saddle to the wood floor. Kept the wood floor the same. But um, I think that what happened, uh, besides just ripping, ripping out what was here as we really kind of reorganized the electric for the, the new TV location, changed the um, heating system so it was a heating and cooling system through the, through the wall. So added our built-in covers and then later 
later they added the, the window treatments and you know the other elements of the interior finishes that make it very much custom in their own. But let's go back into the bedroom and, and bathroom wing and talk about the rest of the apartment. So some of the fun challenges about the apartment was how to really um, minimize the, the detail that was here. And there were, there were these odd circular, I don't know, panels, because they're in the lobby of this building, that kind of made this more of a, a glam 30s kind of a door. And so what we did is we took off all of the decorative detail on the doors and, and added paneling, molding, to make it look a little more traditional and then ch changed the door hardware to chrome. Uh, an egg, this is the Baldwin knob with the egg handle, and it brought it into a much more contemporary uh, feeling. And the other thing that was hard to deal with were these hinges because we could keep keep this in, in, in the right finish <laughs> with the new hardware in some doors, but we had to work with the old hinges that are on the metal frames because these door frames have been changed by putting molding around it because there used to be metal casing behind a lot of these doors. And this is what makes it probably look a thousand percent better because it, ha it has what would be what we would think are wood casing, but it's actually, it's actually applied on top of metal. In the bathroom, and back here then, we had uh, a partial renovation only of the bathroom, which was really to keep all the tile and just change the fixtures. So when you come in here, we, we and the hard part was just keeping this in, in good shape while we were renovating, which was always a challenge. So we kept everything the same. We just changed the accessories. We changed the, the lights, the medicine cabinet, I think stayed the same, but we changed the fixtures in, in the shower and the towel bars so that it was more contemporary and more to their taste. Also, um, now in the bedroom, which we didn't know what was going to be under the floors, so when we came in here, we, there was carpet. We took, we took the carpet up and refinished the floors to match, and we'll get a close shot of this, but we were matching the color of the wood, which was turned out to be ebony. So after matching the floor, the other challenges we had here was to, to really, besides painting the coffered ceiling, because this was all here, we changed a lot of the electric. Originally, the TV was not focused on this wall. It was on the other wall. So we had to rewire the bedroom to accommodate the, you know, the side tables and, and the lamps. We had to, when we came in here, we also had the challenge of those doors because we kept this closet and the built-ins and they had this really weird trim. So we had to you know, get rid of all that, change all the baseboard, which we were doing throughout to clean it up. Uh, so that it looks crisp and new. The color really is great, and uh, again, the sense of color here with the client's input was wonderful, but we decided to, 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 to paint the beams in the wall color because I think it gave a little bit more height and, and let us contrast the different color of the crown against the white ceiling. Um, and, and also another built-in. This one, in fact, matched the trim. The trim in this room is a different color than the rest of the apartment. The rest of the apartment is, is a white trim, and this one is, is, is a softer, it's a, it's a softer kind of a warm, creamy trim. Benjamin Moore, beautiful, beautiful color sense. But I think all in all, we've done a, a fabulous job, and I know the owners are happy, so we'll just say ciao for now and see you on the next.